this video tutorial I will explain JMS. JMS which stands for Java Message Service and it is a technology that allows different software applications to communicate and exchange information asynchronously through messages. It is like sending messages between two people without needing them to be online at the same time to receive or send messages. JMS provides a way for software components, it is often called clients, to send and receive messages reliably and efficiently. Here you can see order microservice which creates or produce order event and send it to the message broker. And message broker can be Apache Kafka or RabbitMQ. And these order events will be queued in message broker. And here you can see stock microservice and email microservice which will consume these order events from the message broker. And in this architecture, these three microservices no need to be online at the same time to create or consume the messages. We can think of JMS like sending physical mail between two people. One person sends a letter and other person receives it. They don't have to be present at the same time for this communication to happen. Messaging system. JMS acts as a postal system for software applications. JMS provides a way for different parts of an application to send messages to each other. Just like sending letters. Messages. Messages in JMS are like letters. They contain information that needs to be sent from one part of the application to another part of the application. Messages can be simple data or more complex structures. Producers. Producers are like the people who send letters. They create and send messages to the destination. Destination is like mailbox. Destinations are like mailboxes. They are predefined places where messages are sent. They can be topics or queues. Queues for one-to-one -one communication. Topics for broadcast like. Consumers. Consumers are like the people who receive the letters and read the letters. They listen to the destinations and retrieve messages from them. Asynchronous. GMS communication is asynchronous communication. Which means the sender and the receiver don't need to be actively connected at the same time. Just like physical mail, the receiver can check the mailbox whenever they are ready. Reliable. JMS ensures the messages are reliably delivered to the destination. If the receiver is not available, the message is stored until the receiver is ready to read it. Message types. JMS supports different types of messages like text messages, object messages and more. Because of this, application can send various kinds of data. In a nutshell, JMS is like a messaging system for software applications and allowing software applications to send and receive messages asynchronously and reliably which is similar to how people send and receive physical mail. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to my channel. You can get Java source code and PowerPoint presentation for each and every video. That you can see it in the description section of the video. Click on show more and here you can see the description and here you can see the links to download source code and PowerPoint presentation.